stepping into Arnett's family store. Hey, how are you doing? You can count on two things. Two fish, one chicken, gotcha. Southern dishes that tickle taste buds. Is that enough macaroni? And customer service. Oh, well, here, I, can, I got you. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. As warm as the food. I'll hook you up, honey. Thank you. Darlene Arnett rolls out the welcome mat every morning. Seven days a week, 365 days a year. Opening a mom and pop store wasn't on her bucket list. Oh, what kind of stuff? In 2014, a 32 year career in industrial painting dried up after a tractor trailer crashed into her van. Darlene needed a second act. We got our hands in everything. <laughs> Since opening her store four years ago in Chester, she's found her calling. You have a great day, honey. Dedicated customers can't stay away. I come here mostly every day, two or three times a day. Don't want to go to grocery store. I know I can always find something up in here. Brenda Gross considers Darlene her soul sister. I always said, girl, you can cook, but she makes the best breakfast sandwiches that you ever taste. Fresh fruits and veggies always in stock. I love it. I just love it. As are Darlene's originals. So we got pickles, pickled vegetables, jams. All of this is made right here on site. There's a certain buzz about <laughs> her honey, too. I've got 21 beehives right now. We're busy bees work almost as hard as Darlene. We use our honey, we make honey butter in the store, we use our honey in our pasta salads. But sweetness turned sour when COVID came knocking. Thank you. Compromised customers stayed away, so Darlene delivered home-cooked meals. There you go. She didn't want her friends to go without. There was su it was such a heartache to see all these little businesses closing. And I felt like we were headed in that direction. And my customers come out and said, no, we are here to support you. She got the good spirit to keep her moving, smiling and stuff. That would make people come back to her, you know. Still, Darlene found it hard to make ends meet. Appreciate you coming in. In December, the business went from bad to worse. They're saying, get out, get out. And I opened the door again, and then I knew I had to get out. A fire ruined everything. But I didn't want to leave. You know, I didn't want to see all my hard work go down. Darlene considered walking away for good. It was a mess. Neighbors could not bear the thought of Arnett's closing. She was devastated. She really was. I need them. <laughs> Volunteers helped Darlene and her husband rebuild. I couldn't do it without them. You know, they're wonderful. On May 3rd, five months after the smoke cleared, a grand reopening. Wonderful, we have, here's a family that come to help us hang a flag, the American flag. Arnett's was reborn. 50s, we wanted to go back to the 50s. We got the 57 Chevy Red table. A new chapter for the landmark on South Street. You wanted one sandwich, honey? Two, I got you. But the celebration lasted just 24 hours the day after we reopened. Recent tests revealed Darlene is living with lung cancer. I did get some news. Um, I'm going through some medical stuff right now. It's a diagnosis Darlene hasn't shared publicly till now. I'm seeing a little bit of light and I'm just keep moving forward, you know? She never talk about it too much. She just keep on going, you know, that's Darlene. You, know. you got the lucky number today? Her illness is just another hurdle this business owner plans on overcoming. To get things done, she's going to go at it hard as she can from sunup to sundown. Everybody knows that. Darlene Arnett sticks to her bottom line. Just feelings of gratitude. Just really feelings of gratitude. They make me happy. I love seeing each of them every day. When customers come first. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have a lovely day. You profit in more ways than one. I don't want to give up. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm not a quitter. I've never been a quitter. And I'm just going to keep putting one foot in front of the other. For I Have a Story. Thank you. I'm Greg McQuaid. See you, darling. I'll be back tomorrow. CBS 6 News.